Hi, I'm the PC Expert Amateur, and we are going to take a look at, um, and this is the final review, the Easy DIY Fab um, Vertical Mount, Graphics Card Mount. It's Adjustable Angle. So you can adjust the angle from straight up to 45 degrees uh, pointing upwards. And it comes with two main parts this and it's got these little legs that you have to add on and those are held on each side with two screws as you can see so you have to make sure to mount this correctly and so as you can see this one's kind of loose so you can see that you can move it about 45 degrees you can and they're made to be mounted on either side there and and that's that's nice because then you can't put them on backwards <laughs> uh, and the instructions aren't that great. You can do up to uh, a three slot card on this, although apparently not all cards will fit equally well. My, um, it was not listed that this was compatible with my RX 6800 XT. It was, but it didn't fit quite right. It was a bit off kilter, a little bit loose. I still was able to make it work, but it was just a little bit frustrating to try and get it to in there correctly. The other part is the ribbon cable that, that you plug into your PCIe slot and then you plug your graphics card into this 95, um, 90 degree angle here. Um, so this you would take <coughs> and before you're going to install the graphics card you're going to take the PCIe slot side and you're going to slide it through making sure that the slot here is facing upward, not downwards. And then you'll have to screw this in place with the provided screws. There are two. I've got them on the underside right now. And then what, you're, what you do next is you're going to take your graphics card and you will take that graphics card and I suggest you do this prior to screwing the slot in place but you can experiment there is a uh, variable space on the slot so you can see there is a, a not on the slot on the, uh, the the PCB here there is a slot that allows you to adjust where you screw it all together but basically you're going to put it in you're going to put the graphics card in there Now, actually, you can even mount the graphics card first and then run the cable through, but you do have to be careful. So you're going to make sure that the outside end matches up to this side here as far as, you know, which side it goes where. That little tail there will match up to that lock release there. And you'll see this slot here that's cut into this, the fingers. There is a ridge right there. So then you're just going to slide this into place and you're going to hold it firmly, but carefully don't squeeze the fan blades or anything. You might break a fan blade off and it should then sit fully in there and the lock should have sprung upwards as, as it is in this right now. And then again, cable goes through You're going to screw this into place with the two screws here, but also you're going to use these screws here. Now this does not go up against the slot ports that are on the back of your case. This sits inside on top of the PSU shroud if you've got a, com a closed off compartment or on the bottom of the case. And you plug this in to your motherboard just as if it were the actual graphics card. So you're going to, just like if this graphics card were being mounted uh, at the slot ports, you're going to use these screws to secure them there. So the graphics card is on this slot. The slot is screwed into place with two small screws. And then the top part here is also screwed into place. 
Now, there's one more thing, and that is that at the bottom, there are these three slots here. Oh. Yay! I dropped it, I dropped it. Am I blushing? Okay, so when you're mounting this, you're gonna remove those screws, you're going to slide the tabs, these two tabs, into the slots here. If there are three tabs, then three slots. Slot and tab system. And at the same time, you're going to have to work to get everything aligned correctly so it all matches up. And this is the part where I really struggled. And even just using this tiny graphics card as an example, I can still see that there are challenges for somebody who's got a smaller graphics card. It's just, I don't know what the reason is. So now I want to talk about my criticisms aside from that of this product. It's very nice. There aren't very many out there that actually have an adjustable angle. Most of them are designed to take up all seven of your expansion slot ports on the back of your case. Some of them leave two or three open. Some of them cover the entire thing. I'm not really sure why, um, except for the, where the, the uh, part has to be exposed that, that is this part of your card. That will not be covered up, but everything else will be covered up. So, you know, it's, it's, um, it's irritating. Now, <clears throat> so aside from getting it all hooked together correctly and the, the hassle that that is, I do have some other complaints. Number one, the, the angling system is not easy. It's not easy to, to put it into place and know you've got the right angle, this side and this side are independent of each other, which is a plus, because that means you can, you can do a little bit of an, uh, of an angle on the mounting uh, so that one side maybe is close, you know, angled more than the other side, if that's what you need to do. But it's just kind of hard to keep them, to tighten them up once you've got it in place and keep them tightened up. That's not a big deal, though. I mean, because if you're testing like me, you need that flexibility. But, and this really is one of the larger problems with this mount, aside from the difficulty of correctly mounting the card in here and making everything fit together nicely, this is probably the number two irritation for me as a tester who's constantly moving this thing around during tests. Um, when they... They've got these uh, rare earth f magnets on the bottom of the feet, and they're covered with this slim piece of rubber that's just held in place with an adhesive. Now, if you're just going to put this down on your power supply shroud like that, and you're just going to leave it there, you're never going to move it, it's not a big deal. But... For anybody who's going to have to be moving it around on any kind of a basis, if you don't very carefully pick it up, making sure that the magnets are no longer touching the shroud, assuming you have a shroud that's ma uh, made of ferrous materials that are magnetic and that are attracted to magnets, <laughs> if you don't pick it up, it's going to drag. <coughs> now, three things can happen. One, there's going to be a lot of resistance because the neodymium magnets have clamped onto the metal. <coughs> and, yeah, well, that makes it more challenging to move it. And I did forget to mention that this is model YIHPI333-3. Um, and it's four centimeter, whatever that means. Whatever the four centimeter is for, I'm not really sure. Um... But if, you're, if you try to just kind of drag it, because these are just held on with a, a, an okay adhesive, the rubber in inevitably is pulled away from the magnets, which can leave the magnets exposed, which means that the adhesive from the rubber can get onto your nice paint finish, and the magnets can scratch your paint finish. 
I'm not terribly worried about that, but I know some people are. So I found this, it, this was a point of frustration. And if you pick this up and you don't pay attention to your own strength or you're not good at coordinating your, your, um, your lift properly, you could cause damage to something inside of your case. Now, if you're working with this and it's properly mounted on the shroud and you put your case flat so you can work on something else, it's going to stay as is, and that's fine. But what I also discovered, because of how wide this is, that they're really, even though I have a, an IQ, a Corsair IQ 5000X case, between the motherboard components and the glass panel on the left side, there just wasn't that much space. I couldn't recline the car to full 45 degrees. And that was frustrating because I wanted to get the maximum airflow through my graphics card. But I was able to do it enough so that at least my graphics card was cooling off. But sadly, it was still somewhat restricted. Um, the other thing that kind of irked me about this product is quite sim simply that it was expensive. This is not something that is particularly complicated to manufacture. Um, you could probably, if you have a good machine, you could probably put something out like this in about uh, one, two, maybe three seconds, five seconds tops, I would guess, to make this main piece here without the legs. And the legs, you know, it's like a fraction of a second. Um, but like it's, this is not something that takes a lot of time to make one of these. And the material, certainly, even with the neodymium mag magnets, is not worth the current price, which is what I paid, and that's $60. $60 to me is way too much money for this. Now, if they had put a rubber boot on this foot so that there was no way the rubber could easily come off and there was no way that the, the mount, uh, magnet would be exposed to the paint job on your shroud, um, and if they had done a better job of making sure that a, a graphics card will fit in here comfortably and properly, and then there was one, uh, two other problems. I noticed sometimes while using it that this cable was producing interference that showed up on my screen as gray lines on my screen. And it wasn't a lot of interference. Sometimes it happened, sometimes it didn't happen, but it did happen, and that should not be the case. This should be designed so that you're not getting EMF or other kinds of uh, frequencies of radiation coming off of the cable and interfering with the other components in the computer. So that was one thing. The other thing is, is when I finally took this apart so I could put my, uh, gra I was finished with the testing that I was doing with this, so I wanted to put my graphics card back into the PCIe slot of my motherboard. One side of the lock release mechanism broke off. Now, I've used the lock release me mechanism on my motherboard several times, applying force with a screwdriver very carefully, and I've never had a problem with it damaged, being damaged. It came off, but it came off intact. This one doesn't come off. It's not the same design so that you can just accidentally, if you get too much pressure, it doesn't just pop off. It breaks. So for 60 bucks, there should be a lot better quality going on with this thing than what I have observed. So if, if D Easy DOI Fab wants to sell this product, um, I would say, you know, say, hey, I'll buy it, but I'll buy it for $30 or $20 or $10 because there are electronic products out there that are being sold for $10, $20. They're a lot more complicated to fabricate than this thing is. They take a lot longer to fabricate than this thing does. And they do a lot of things unlike this thing. And yet this is 60 bucks. It's drastically overpriced. Now, to be fair, 
If you're looking at the ones that don't have the angle mounting mechanism on them where it's just a, a straight up and down, no matter whether it's a vertical up and down or a, pair, um, a horizontal up and down, it doesn't matter. If, if you're paying more than, I would say, $10, you're paying too much because these are mass produced very quickly and very easily. There's no reason to pay more than $10 for those. There's no <coughs> reason to pay more than $20 possibly $30 for something like this. Um, so uh, it left me feeling a little bit irked. I mean, because difficulty install installing the card into it, the, the lock mechanism breaking, the rubber not staying uh, on top of the magnets because they went the cheap route um, of using uh, cheap, uh, a cheap solution, and so on and so forth. It's just, yeah, so... That's why I'm making this. If, if, uh, if it had been very easy to use and I hadn't had problems with it, um, nothing broke, I probably wouldn't have done a follow-up review. But, yeah. If you can get this for $10, $20, possibly $30, then, you know, it's enough. If you're paying more than $30, I would just say look for something else if you can. And if you can't, you know, maybe just don't buy it or find an alternative solution. So ultimately, it does what I needed to do, but it's a big hassle. It's overpriced, um, and I'm glad I have it because it allowed me to do the um, all-in-one water cooler testing that uh, the reviews, or sorry, the videos that you've seen that I put up just yesterday. Um, <clears throat> but at the same time, yeah, there are these flaws that they really, really, really didn't think about uh, carefully, and, and especially for $60. If they drop it to $30, I think they would sell more, especially. But, you know, you also have to remember with this that because it's sitting on the power supply's shroud, the compartment shroud, or the base uh, of the ca um, case, if there isn't a separate compartment, if you like, just, maybe it's just the floor of the case, then you have to have one of the uh, expansion slot covers off. So you have to take off one of, the, one of these things from one of the expansion slots because you're going to have to bring the cable from the um, monitor inside to where you've got the graphics card mounted on this amount, uh, this card mount. So pros and cons, you know, if you're having problems with rodents, <laughs> having that open, you may want to do some kind of a mod that allows you to get the cable through there without leaving access for rodents. Um, but yeah, so lots of improvement that could be done on this product and definitely needs to be brought down in price quite substantially. I got it on Amazon, and I'm trying to boycott Amazon because it's run by a bunch of <coughs> <coughs> I can't swear, sorry. But uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, easy DIY fab. Improve the cable so it doesn't emit radiation that interferes with other things on the computer. Uh, improve the, mount, the ease of mounting because it's not easy to mount it and have it mount correctly. Uh, improve, put ru uh, rubber boots on the feet instead to cover up the magnets instead of just a, a cheap piece of rubber that is held in place with uh, any in <sighs> adhesive that's not strong enough. Um, improve the uh, system for holding these feet in place um, and so on and so forth and fix the damn lock for the, the card there's no excuse for it breaking the and this is the f I think the first time I've actually removed the card from the slot <coughs> why why did it break poor quality that's all 60 bucks for poor quality yeah so I'm, yeah, that's it. I'm done. Thanks for watching. Please like, subscribe, and share. Have a great day.